The Beef Today Report is brought to you by CattleExchange.com, connecting cattle buyers and sellers nationwide. In our Beef Today Report, Rabobank expects any rebound in fed cattle prices will be countered by higher feed prices. That said, the ag, ag banker says there are a few positive notes for the battered beef industry. Rabobank says although this year's drought is more widespread, it's not as severe as last year's. In the southern plains where stocking rates are below normal due to the 2011 drought, grazing conditions have actually improved. Drought force placements have now shifted geographically. Rabobank says June cattle on feed placements in Texas returned to some normalcy and were 16% lower from a year ago. Meanwhile, Nebraska's placements were up 24%. While America's ranchers keep a close eye on the cattle situation, so is the competition to the south. Oklahoma State's livestock marketing specialist Daryl Peel recently traveled to Brazil for a conference on beef production. He says many of the South American nations are facing the same challenges as U.S. producers. And one of the themes that was consistent in that conference was the idea that increased competition between crop and, and livestock production in virtually every country is changing things. It's causing cattle to move to more marginal areas. It's, uh, it, it's increasing that uh, competition for limited resources. And that's not something that's happening only in the U.S. It's happening in most every country that's involved in both crop and livestock production. Peel says he expects U.S. cattle prices to rebound later this year. 